I have a toy. I was given this toy. My friend gave it to me and said that I can play with it. When I'm finished with it, I can give it to my son. The reason he gave it to me, though, is because it doesn't work. It's got buttons on top, and um, it's meant to make a sound, and lights are meant to flash, and that sort of thing. But um, it doesn't work, and he knows that I can fix this sort of stuff, so he said, hey, I'm gonna, instead of throwing it out, I'll give it to you, see if you can fix it, and if you can, give it to your kid, and um, he can play with it. So that's what we're going to do. I'll open it up, see what's inside, and see what's gone wrong. The first thing I checked was the batteries. I put new batteries in, and um, it didn't work. And I've also checked the uh, terminals, and the terminals aren't corroded. Um, often what happens with these sort of cheap toys is that the batteries are never replaced. They corrode, or they leak, and they corrode the terminals. And then, it don't work. But these are all nice and nice and shiny in there. So it looks like we've got four screws. Oh, it's a um, fire truck, if you didn't already notice. A Japanese style. Interesting uh, thing about the uh, emergency vehicles in Japan is they actually talk to you when they're turning or um, doing whatever. They'll actually announce. Uh, a lot of the trucks have that as well. It's like the reversing beepers you see on Western trucks. On Japanese trucks, they have a um, another little module that will say, "I'm turning left. Watch out. I'm turning left, or I'm turning right." In Japanese, of course. And the, uh, the emergency vehicles, like the ambulances and the uh, fire trucks and stuff, they've got a megaphone, so the, uh, the driver is driving, and there's a guy in the passenger seat that's announcing stuff. Watch out, guys, we're coming through the intersection. Stop all your cars, let us through, that sort of stuff. And once they've gone through the uh, intersection, in typical Japanese fashion, they will um, say thanks to everyone, thanks for letting us through. And all that sort of stuff. So it's actually kind of... Uh, um, it's kind of cool, except at um, you know, the middle of the night when they're belting down the street near your house and there's this voice going on. So it looks like we're in, just four screws. We've got the uh, battery holder here, speaker, we've got two lights there which are for the uh, headlights, so the headlights flash, and we've got two lights, or LEDs, they're all LEDs, two LEDs at the top for the uh, flashing lights at the top. Looks like we've got the old phenolic style PCB, and I bet there's going to be a chip on board. That's a little blob of epoxy with the um, the chip hidden underneath. And looks like we've got one electrolytic capacitor there. This looks a little bit like there might have been some sort of moisture in there, but it might just be the cheap Chinese uh, screws. But if you look at that, I don't know if you can see that, but they're not looking shiny. They're looking a little bit blare. So maybe that's what the problem is. Oh yeah. Looks like we've had some corrosion. So what we might do, let's have a look. If that's gone into the chip, we're pretty much boned. But it might just be a matter of cleaning that up a little bit. And give it a polish with the... Uh, fiberglass pen it could even just be that the buttons weren't making contact because of all that corrosion so the circuit might be working but when you press the buttons it's not closing the uh, contacts so the circuit just sits there waiting for you even though you're telling it to do stuff you know what I'm gonna put these batteries back in Now if I get something metallic, nothing still. We might have a dead one on our hands. I'm going to get the uh, magnifying glass and have a bit of a closer look at all this stuff. See if there's anything obvious there. Might have found a problem here, which I might be able to fix. You look right there. The trace is corroded away. So that's an open circuit between this trace just over the top and coming down. If I fix that, we might have a working product. Alright, so I've got the uh, jumper wire in there. And I'll just put a little bit of solder just here where it was looking a really bit thin coming into these contacts for this switch here. So, does it work? 
I'll say it works. I have to wait for this <laughs> sound to stop. There we go. Music. I think I'll be pulling the batteries out before I give it to my son. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's working. So we can stick this back in here. I zoom out a bit. Yeah, so that can go back in there. I've cleaned up the uh, the contact pads, little carbon bits on these switches, so they're going to make good contact. And that can go back in there with that on top. There we go, all back together. So let's turn the lights out for the full effect. And let's hit the siren button. That seems to be working. Music, because uh, fire trucks make music, don't they? <laughs> anyway, that is working. I'm on a half a mind to keep it myself, but no, nah, that's going to go straight to my son, and he's going to annoy the absolute living hell out of us with this. Fantastic! All right, thumbs up for a successful fix and a new toy for my baby. We'll see you in the next video.